Carol, thanks very much for joining us. A big investment in terms of life sciences in the Living Laboratory there in Glasgow. Um, For those who don't know, just tell me a little bit more about that programme. The the Living Laboratory for Precision Medicine is a a consortium which brings together um, industry, NHS Scotland and also the University of Glasgow. And it's been funded through um, UKRI um, and also with, um, with, with, with funding from consortium partners. Um, what we're doing in the, living, in the Living Laboratory is we're using our collective strengths to help develop, validate and then support the adoption of new technologies and innovations in, into healthcare. And, and we're looking to create a lot of benefits from us working together collectively on that. In terms of the programme itself, Carol, um, I suppose, uh, is that bringing together private companies, private investment? Are you looking to grow the provision there in terms of infrastructure to allow new companies to come on board? What, what, what's the aim of the project? The benefits that we're looking to get out are are quite broad. So we're we're looking for some obvious things like um, like patient benefit. We're also looking to support the NHS in Scotland with um, with reducing the costs of healthcare. And we're looking to create assets for research in healthcare as as well. But one of the important drivers through this um, Strength in Places Fund programme that we've got is really to support productivity growth in in, in Glasgow. And we are in the process of and already a long way towards creating a um, a very, very strong and attractive environment for companies to come and locate with us. Um, And we already have um, at the site around 14 companies that are already embedded with us. We're using some of the funding that we got, some of the investment to to create and to expand the infrastructure that we have, that we have got for that we've got for companies, and that's both purpose built hard infrastructure. We've got a really attractive campus which is centred around the Queen Elizabeth. University Hospital in Glasgow, which is the biggest hospital in the, in, in, in the UK. We've got a, just a really attractive campus, um, but, but it's not just about the hard infrastructure, it's about how we can support companies to engage with clinicians, to engage with the NHS and to engage with, 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 with all the, the research expertise that we've got in Glasgow as well. Is this something that you're particularly trying to build there in, in Scotland and in, in Glasgow, a sort of level of expertise around this life sciences health tech side? Yeah, so, so we, we think there's a real opportunity. We know there's a real opportunity for us to, um, to develop what we already have as a, as, as a, as a centre of excellence. Scotland um, is already incredibly strong. Scotland is a leading player in the world in, in the development of precision medicine and, and in general of, of, of new innovations, of new diagnostics and bringing them, bringing them into healthcare. One of the challenges, though, that there is globally is the challenge of how you actually bring new disruptive innovations into a healthcare system. And and so what we're doing is we're putting in all the support that we can work collaboratively to work with companies to help them bring these innovations um, into healthcare. And and, um, and the, the way that we're doing that is understanding that collectively working in this triple helix partnership model between industry with the NHS and, and, and with academic researchers together we can do more together than we can than we can do separately and each of these partners have got different drivers we've got different things that we want to get out of the partnership but collectively we're able to accept accelerate all the benefits all the benefits together um, of, of, of working in this way and Carol it's interesting to see the development of um, of the life sciences sector more more broadly um, across Europe and the world um, so I suppose how do you see Glasgow in comparison to the other kind of leading centers a, a around the world Glasgow in it specifically um, has got a real ethos of collaboration. And one of the things that we're finding, particularly around the companies that we're we're attracting to to come and work with us, 
is that everybody has this spirit of openness and um, and really looking to help each other. And that is proving to be, I think, very attractive for companies that are coming that, that are coming to locate. Um, it's been it's been referred to, uh, to me personally as it's the secret sauce that that, that that we've got in Glasgow is is really that everybody is so supportive. Um, and everybody wants to see how can I help you, and 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 that expands to working with clinicians, working with researchers, working with um, with, with all the kind of business development specialists that that, that, that we have in the area, um, just to support companies to be able to do what they do really really well. It's been a really growing sector that we've been watching, um, Carol. Um, so really interesting also to see, um, I suppose, some of the some of the key trends that are driving underneath that, um, particularly there in Glasgow. Um, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.